<clears throat> I'm gonna try to go get lost downtown somewhere. Downtown. Get out of the way, get out of the way, get out of the way, get out of the way. My very first car was a gold version of this Infiniti G20. That was so much fun. Oh my gosh, I used to race everybody from stoplight to stop, like, I raced any chance I got, and it's so funny because I actually never got caught street racing in that Infiniti. Never. I got caught street racing in a couple other cars, but never in the Infiniti. And I had that thing for at least two or three years, and I probably raced like well over a hundred times in in town. <laughs> you fucking faggot! <laughs> She's on her phone the whole time, just holding up traffic. Nice. It's always good to hold up traffic, right? Especially when you're on your phone. I mean, traffic should stop if you're on your phone. Oh, you're off your phone, now you're gonna go. Man, in this city, if you tell somebody to get off their phone, they'll probably shoot you. Sometimes this place can be very ghetto. Very violent. This this town could be very violent. You know what's crazy? I also watch um, once in a while. I'll watch the TV show called Intervention. I used to watch it all the time. I think it's a great TV show. It always gives somebody hope. Especially people struggling with addiction, like I will always be struggling with addiction. But Intervention is such a great show. And lately, all the people in the United States kind of seen that show before because they, they have like 15 seasons or whatever. And they usually use about five different interventionists. So people catch on really easy here in the States. But they've been doing a lot of Canadian interventions. And what I notice about um, Americans versus Canadians is the level of violence. Americans go crazy for like the stupidest shit. And there's like no reasoning with them. Like they're right and that's it. Is that the way America is built on? Just like, fuck you, I'm right. If everybody had that mentality, like nobody would get anywhere in life. And if you ever watch one of the newer seasons of Intervention, most of them are gonna be in Canada, and you just look at the level of violence in Canada, you just look at the mentality of the Canadians, level of violence, like you never, even like the most worst freaking drug users don't even get that violent, like not at all. They're willing to listen to other people's side of the story and change their lives. Americans, we're just like, fuck you, I'm doing drugs, leave me the fuck alone. And that shit irritates me because I like to hear every side of the story before I, I make my decision. I don't jump to conclusion and I don't say that I'm always right because in life, man, I always feel like I always feel like I'm wrong, so I'm always just 90, like, 5%. Even when I'm, even when I know something for a fact, somebody will, somebody somewhere will correct me, and I'm like, oh shit, I didn't know that. So it's really hard for me to really commit to stuff. I'm always open to hear reasons, reasons why somebody else thinks a different way than I am, because I just, I want to hear it. Let's hear why you think a certain way. I know there's all kinds of like parking garages around here too, but let me see if I can get into one. Hopefully they don't make me pay any money because I ain't got shit. I'm just gonna ride to the top. Please wait.
There's the stadium. Chick Chansey Park. It's where the Fresno Grizzlies play. I think they just switched. I don't know if they're going to be a farm team of the Giants anymore. I think they're going to be a farm team of the uh, Houston Astros. They have Thirsty Thursdays where like Tecate beer is only a dollar. <laughs> Pretty legit. I don't know what the fuck I'm saying. We're, noises are just coming out of my mouth at this point. <laughs> she looks good, huh? <laughs> she looks good, huh? <laughs> town people are like dude is this guy even going anywhere I keep riding past the same spots this guy, is this guy even going anywhere in life nope <laughs> 